Okay, bring you yet another free roam. Seto Corsa, competent, uh, no, competency only. What the hell am I talking about? Seto Corsa, the original, um, with mods. Um, where we are now is uh, Glen Shale, which is in Invershell, Scotland. I know I'm probably mispronouncing that, but I could care. Um, I have never been here before. I've never driven this map before, but uh, it looks really interesting. So, um, it is expansive. As you can see on the map that you can't really see very well on screen, the line is so thin because the map is so huge. Um, but there are supposedly over 2,000 kilometers of road in this. And as you see in front of us here, um, <laughs> the author says, realize this is a work in progress. Please do not become a Molupa. Not sure what that means exactly, but I assume it means a complainer of about things that, if you're not willing to pick up a, a hammer and nail, um, don't don't comment. So let's see what we got here. Um, I have no idea how traffic is going to behave in this, um, mostly because uh, um, a lot of these expansive maps um, they use different types of programs, different types of um, uh, AI generation tools. Um, I'm actually, I'm leveraging um, Content Manager and some of the, the newer AI spline stuff in hopes that that will just magically work, but no guarantees. I've seen a couple of maps where I've uh, driven um, and uh, that uh, has not really worked. It's an exit out here, I guess it is. Yeah, here we go. Um, so no guarantees. Ooh, some nice hot air balloons up there. So that we can actually see things pretty okay. I've set it to be, uh, about 7.55 in the morning, it looks like. Um, it's overcast, but it's light enough that we can actually see what's going on out here. Um, and I thought that it would be kind of a fun little map to drive for a while. I don't expect that we're going to get to drive all 2,000 kilometers tonight. We'll drive until we get bored or stop enjoying ourselves. Precarious road. <laughs> nice sheer drops. I also, I did uh, some changes to my recording. Um, so I started playing with the hybrid means of creating uh, MP4. And basically what that allows you to do in OBS if you're using a hybrid uh, um, uh, MP4 generation is that if for some reason my machine crashed, which it's been known to do, um, in the middle of the recording that you wouldn't lose the entire recording. That sounds attractive, right? So I uh, started playing with that and uh, um, it had some weird side effects. So like when I went into the video folder, I was unable to play the video with audio unless I used something like video... Uh, well, VLC, Video LAN Creator, VLAN LAN Connector. I don't remember what that stands for. VLC, it's an open source project. Would work um, for playing back the video with audio, but like standard media player in Windows couldn't see the audio. Um, Premiere could, which was good. But um, I didn't know if that was maybe causing some problems. So where are we gonna go? Uh, Inverness, Perth, Glasgow, Invershell, and Elg Lake. Let's go to Glasgow. I know, I know that name at least. Um. So anyway. Um, I was seeing some weird uh, things in the videos. I'm sure you've noticed them and have been polite enough not to comment on them, um, where occasionally I just get some stutters, and uh, I don't know what's causing it. There's no 
righteous reason that I should be seeing them. So what I did was I switched back to standard uh, H.264 MP4 container recording. Um, that was scary. Um, in the hopes that maybe um, going back to tried and true, I get less stutters. So we'll see how this recording goes. Uh, leave your comments uh, on the video. Um, if you have some insight or thoughts on uh, why I would be seeing weird video stutters. Look at that sunrise, huh? Promised part of the day, man. I tell you, it's magical. Doesn't matter where you are. Not a good place to tap the brakes, I guess. Inverness. Devil's Anus. Okay. Okay. You see a sign that says Devil's Anus on your screen. You almost have to take the turn, right? Am I wrong? Come on now. You saw that in real life. You'd take the turn too, wouldn't you? I have no idea what that means, but that's a sign right there that you would never see in the United States. You would never see a sign that says, this way to Devil's Anus. You would, it just wouldn't happen. It would never happen. not seeing any traffic out here and I'm pretty sure that in Ireland they drive on uh, the left side of the road like they do in the UK Devil's Lane is this way I don't know. I, it reminds me of, uh, when I went to, uh, God, where was it? Was it one of the uh, islands in the Caribbean? A place called Hell. It's what the town's name is Hell. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. Yeah, the car's pretty much toast. Let's start over. We'll drive a different way. Um, uh, I was 
a little overly uh, excited there. But now I'm I'm really curious to get to Devil, Devil's Anus, so that will be our uh, quest for this evening. I drowned in the lock. That sucks. Okay. Now it's going to be an internet meme that I was in a hurry to get into the devil's anus. I, that's, that's not what I want to be remembered for. I certainly think it's funny, but that's not my thing. I'm not into that, just so we all are clear on this. But where else in Scotland or possibly Ireland are you going to find a sign on the side of the road that says, Hey, this way to Devil's Anus. This is a pretty incredible road, though. So let me know what your favorite free roam is. If I've not yet done it, um, I've got a list of these. This is uh, probably uh, of the new ones. This is second on the list or first on the list for, for new um, free roams. And it's it's huge. Like I said earlier, it's like 2,000 kilometers of free roam. Um, doesn't look like AI works quite as expected. So I'm going to need to look into that. Um, there are a couple of these free roam tracks that use um, a traffic system that I'm not familiar with. And uh, I don't trust everything <laughs> on the internet because um, you never know what you're getting yourself into. Not just in terms of what you download, but uh, the executables or anything else that is required as part of it uh, can sometimes be questionable. And uh, you want to be really careful when downloading stuff from the internet. In fact, um, for this free roam, I had to do some extensive searching. Um, and I want to play with it for a while and examine it a little bit more closely before I point folks to where I wound up getting it from. Because um, it wasn't a, a normal site. It was no not available on... Uh, on uh, Overtake. Which is where I get most of my free roams here. Because it used to be... Uh, was it Race... Race Lab? No, not Race Lab. Uh, race... Something... And they were acquired by Overtake. So anyway, be careful when you're downloading stuff from the internet. Don't always trust everything you see. Um, This seems to be okay, but again, I had to jump through some weird hoops to get to it, and uh, I want to do some more exploration. This machine, I, I back up regularly, and I can rebuild fairly quickly, and do rebuild quite frequently, and also have uh, several antivirus and uh, 
anti-malware programs running, looking for weird things. Yep, here's where we took the turn for Devil's Anus. Okay, I'll drive a little bit more carefully this time. Just because I want to get to where this place is, because I want to see what it is. Now, you notice that we have uh, some weird trees. So again, the guy announced that this was not complete. Um, the balloon should be hovering up there. The trees probably should not be. So... We'll forgive him. This is a beautiful map. I, this is actually really incredible. And like I said, expansive. I like expansive. That's one of the reasons I love the Shutoko Revival Project and uh, that map is because it is fairly big. And so you can drive a good long ways um, <laughs> and have have fun and and basically I get tired of driving or run out of fuel before I run out of places to go which is kind of the point right you know it's like if you drive in real life you know you drive and uh, you know you, you decide when you're coming home by virtue of you know you filled up the tank and you know you go, well Probably time to reverse track and go back home because I only want to probably drive twice as long as I've been driving so long so far, and it's time to go home. I do that all the time. I'll go out on a drive and I'll just drive until I'm far enough away from home that I know I need to come back because it's going to take a long time to get home. I used to do that a lot more. I haven't done that recently. But it's a good way to drive. Okay, Devil's Anus to our left here. That's some nice tight turns up here, so we'll... We'll drive with a little bit more caution. I'd actually like to... Get here without wrecking the car this time. I suppose I could start these sessions uh, with damage off, but I just I don't think that that's very much fun. It's not very honest. That's a tight turn. So I'm going to be really disappointed if I drive all this way and we pass it without realizing we passed it. I'm hoping there's a sign that says Devil's Anus here. We can stop and spit in it or whatever whatever you want to do, I guess. Weird reflections in the rock. I'm sure that that's a glitch. If anything, anybody is watching and is from Scotland, I, I apologize if I am insulting you um, in any way. And if you know more about this particular uh, site um, and can give some historical perspective on how this came about um, in terms of... Uh, I'm assuming it's a real place, right? 
I mean, I could be wrong. Good views. In that mirroring, I, I'm assuming that that is an artifact of uh, just some incompleteness in the map. Ooh. Or maybe... Maybe as we get closer to the Devil's Anus, the laws of physics start to break down and crumble, and we'll start to see really weird things, like flying trees, and... Uh-huh. This... Ice? Here's something I hadn't thought about. We took the turns to come to the Devil's Anus. What if once you get into the Devil's Anus, there's no way out? That would be horrible. And I will have taken you on this horrible trip. And we'll be trapped here for all of eternity. Like some weird uh, chapter out of Dante's Inferno. Who knows? Right? A weird rock in the middle of the road that was uh, uncomfortable. This is definitely ice, by the way. I mean, I feel it in the wheels. I'm having to slow way down because the tires are slipping out from under me a little bit. not a perfect model of reality because I think that I'm getting a fair amount of traction that I would not be in real life. Because the uh, GT3 RS is not an all-wheel drive Porsche. It is a rear-wheel drive. You know what this reminds me of? So, when I was a kid, went to New Mexico, saw Carlsbad Caverns and a whole bunch of other stuff, and there was a place called um, Cloudcroft, Cloudcroft, New Mexico. And we drove up this mountain, and about halfway up, it was engulfed in clouds. It was like, like, you could not see in front of you, you, you know, driving, you know, like, it was zero visibility. Scary, scary place. And drove all the way up to the top of this mountain. And then uh, there was a restaurant there. And I remember this mo mostly because it was a cool trip, but also because uh, they served hot chocolate in this carafe, a, a bulb-bottom kind of uh, glass thing sitting on a plate. Hot chocolate, boiling hot. And I was a kid. This was when I was a kid. 
and I reached out and touched it like I was gonna you know grab it to pour it into the cup and it was hot and I jumped and I poured the whole boiling cauldron of hot chocolate down the front of my chest and stomach and into my my lap essentially my mom grabbed every glass what wa um, glass of water and ice that was on the table and threw it in my lap and then they took me to the emergency room and I had you know first second and third degree burns on my chest and stomach um, nothing below that though because of the ice water throw and uh, yeah weird trip but this reminds me of that as you saw we as we were coming up there we went through a little bit of cloud cover I gotta tell you, we seem to be going down now. I said, I, I hope we didn't drive all this way to drive past it, and I mean, that would be disappointing. This does give you a really good picture of how varied free roam maps can be in Assetto Corsa. It's really uh, limited only by the imagination, the time, and the, the technical capabilities of the authors um, in terms of you know what they can design and create. And this is pretty incredible considering how big it is. I mean, we've been driving for a while, but we've only covered maybe. Maybe if we're being generous, a 20th of the map so far? You're all like, yeah, of course. We look how slow we're going. You saw me wreck twice already. I don't want to wreck a third time if I can help it. The first time I've seen ice modeled, though, in it, I said, of course, I'll be honest. I've seen rain, of course, and, you know... Looky there. Down off the ice. flesh wound.
this isn't looking terrible anymore, is it? So maybe that whole uh, top of the spire there was... Uh, I'll have to look it up. I honestly don't know. This is a fun map, though. Really nice map. I really like this. Oh, back on snow again. Or ice, I guess. I thought I just saw a car. Sure, I didn't. I don't know which way to go. Left or right? Left. Oh, 
castle. That's kind of cool. I had no idea I was taking you to see a Scottish castle tonight. That's super cool, though. Doesn't look like we can pull in and visit, though. So in one of the shorts from one of my uh, one of my AC free roams, um, I had uh, suggested maybe putting some time into uh, pursuing setting up a server where you know a group of people could join and stuff. And one person you know gave me a thumbs up on that video and gave me a comment that uh, was ambiguous at best. I wasn't sure if he was just. Uh, liking the idea of, or was actually asking me to follow through on that. So, um, if anybody's interested in, in, in that, I can look into it and we can get like a community, uh, free roam together. More castle. Well, that kind of got windy all of a sudden. didn't wreck. This is a great map. There's a piece of broken fence. That's kind of cool. <laughs> you just go over there. have to look up and see uh, what the Devil's Anus actually is to see if we maybe were there and didn't realize it. Which would be disappointing, right? I mean, there was no sign that says you've arrived um, after, you know, two signs showing us this is the way. Um, I'm disappointed, honestly. Because if we got there and didn't realize we were there when we got there. That's that's just that's sad. I suppose I can look it up on a map and find out.
Ooh. Ooh. It's a good thing about a rental. You don't care if you bump it a little. Pure, ladies and gentlemen. Who knew AC could look so good, right? Light is incredible in this. We'll just pull in here and get some snacks. Gotta make sure I pull it on the right side for the gas tank because it's over there. Okay, folks. Um, that's a wrap. Um, that's the first uh, drive uh, in Glenshale, uh, Scotland. Um, love the map so far. Again, over 2,000 kilometers of road to explore. We touched a fraction of it, um, but it looks pretty amazing. So uh, um, go uh, go dig it up. Um, once I actually have a little bit more confidence in uh, the download that I found and the install, um, I will put a link into the description, but for now, um, if you really want to know, I am me, um, and I can let you know how I found it, and uh, you're going to go from there at your own risk, um, but uh, so far, so good, um, and if things pan out, um, I'll update this, uh, this video description so you can find it as well, but this is pretty cool. Don't drive on the left. Leave room to the car in front. If you crash, take care of rejoining the road. Use indicators if available. Do not be a dick. Good rule. And Kimmy's decision is final. Rules for Glenshale driving. So evidently uh, they do have some servers for this as well, which will be worth looking for. I'll see if I can find the Discord as well um, to see um, what we see um, in terms of that. So um, all in all, this was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it too. Um, I am sorry that uh, the Devil's Anus did not turn out to be the site that I expected it to be. Um, and something that we were all looking forward to, I'm sure. Um, but I'm sure we'll find other interesting things on this map. It is huge. And there's actually a race circuit here. I, I think that the outer perimeter is used for some sort of a race. So I'm going to explore that as well. Um, but uh, thanks for the ride along and uh, appreciate you all. Um, if you like this, please click like. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. And um, also note that we are doing the Make-A-Wish International Drive for Wishes 2024 on November 17th, 2024. Um, it'll be a Road Atlanta race on iRacing, um, and uh, that should be a lot of fun. If you can contribute, please do the QR code that's on the screen. Um, we'll take you right to the donation site. Um, I'll also dump it into the description of the video as well. Thanks a lot, and uh, take care. Sport.